Christmas trees to the trucks, then to the warehouse in LA, and then to tree stands and stores everywhere. It takes a lot of people that are very committed, working 24 seven. Elias Lopez here for 28 years. Once you do it for the first year, it's in your blood, the scent of the Christmas trees. We follow the trees to Fallbrook, California at the vineyard 1924. Santa was waiting. It's the reason for the season. I mean, you wait all year for your Christmas tree. And that's music to their ears. Back where those trees are. Made in America! We love Made in America. Send me your videos. Your one thing made in America this Christmas. You can tweet me or post your idea on my Facebook page, and we'll share your ideas right here. Good night. KITV 4's Maleko McDonald, weekdays on Good Morning Hawaii. On KITV 4 Island News tonight. This is my pride and joy. Some monster surf at Peahi today, and a back to back winner in waters off Maui. I leave blood, sweat, and tears out of Jaws. This is my backyard, and I'm, I'm very territorial. White Pahu High School on lockdown today. All we hear is the announcement saying that there was an active shooter on and there was a lockdown. Was there really an active shooter and was it the only school affected? Yesterday's officer involved shooting near Pearl Ridge. The suspect's been arrested. Local businesses have under three weeks to comply with new plastic bag laws. We gotta learn to, you know, live with the small inconvenience. Plus, the city demos one of its new electric buses. When we lose buying three of them, we'll tell you how much they cost. Now, from Honolulu, for all of Hawaii, this is KITV4 Island News. Big waves and equally as big wipeouts at Peahi on Maui today. Yeah, the Jaws Big Wave Championship called on today with waves as high as 50 feet. Wow. And we begin tonight with the brave men and women who tried to conquer those massive walls of water today. Good evening, I'm Mika Miyashima. And I'm Tom George. And for Brent Sinawa tonight, Piahi's reputation as the pinnacle for big wave surfing further solidified today with more on the history made this year. KTV4 Sports Director Brandy Higa joins us tonight. It does not, Tom. You're right, Tom. Mika winning at Piahi has set the standard for big wave surfing for the past decade now. And today, 24 of the world's elite men big wave surfers and the world's top 10 women in the sport made their way to the iconic surf spot known as Jaws to compete for the coveted title. Check out this video. As you'd expect in 50 foot waves, some massive wipeouts throughout the day but also some massive tube rides. Maui's own Billy Camper put together this 7.83 in today's final. Got a 21.26 combined score. The defending champ at Peahi did it again this year. This is Kemper's fourth Jaws title overall. We'll have his emotional reaction a little later. Plus, I'll tell you who won the women's contest out there on the Valley Isle today. That's coming up during KITV for Island Sports. Tom Mika. All right, thanks, Brandy. And that same swell, good for surfers, not so good when it comes to flooding, causing some flooding there at Ho'okipa and Baldwin Beach Parks. The west side parking lot at Ho'okipa and the entire Baldwin Beach Park are closed and may remain closed tomorrow, depending on how that surf lets up. And we're taking a live look at surf off backdoor on Oahu's North Shore. Yeah, it's been pretty wild across the islands today. ktv 4s uh, meteorologist Pete Caggiano has got your first forecast tonight. Pete is going to hold up. Oh, the surf is declining a bit, as you saw right there on that camera, but we still have some pretty big sets rolling in. We're watching our, our buoys north and west of the islands still coming in at 18 feet. So you add about another 5 to 10 feet on that when those that waves hit the reef. So you can see those waves kind of reaching on up into the sky. So we're expecting still overnight 20, maybe up to 28 footers in some of the bigger spots for the North Shore. West Shore still coming in overnight 15 to 20. So some big waves continuing. And of course, as we mentioned uh, on Maui, we had some uh, coastal flooding and Kamehameha Highway near Sunset Beach earlier today. Also, we saw some of that sand and water kind of running up uh, against uh, Kamehameha Highway. That's possible again in the morning. We have another high tide just at 5 a.m. So still possible even though surf is coming down. Officially high surf warnings in effect north and west shores overnight. Also a high surf advisory in effect for 
Kona Coast at five to eight, so not as big, but Kona Coast, of course, five to eight footers is pretty big for you. So we'll continue to watch those large waves rolling in. Also tracking a front, scattered showers right now with that front over towards parts of Kauai and the west side of Oahu. Also tracking some more rain, trying to build in. This frontal boundary getting a little bit closer coming up. We'll track these showers, we'll let you know how your Aloha Friday forecast is shaping up. Tom and Mika. Sounds good. Thanks, Pete. Well, a school lockdown, a manhunt, four arrests, and a false alarm all in Waipahu today. KITV 4's TJ Horgan tells us panic set in because of where armed suspects ditched a stolen vehicle. we are on the run with guns. So, yeah, nuts. Samuel Lacar was coming home from bringing his dad to a routine doctor's appointment. But what he walked into was anything but normal. It was just kind of surreal because there were two women who were detained on the ground. Like face down, officer walked up and stated, oh, you should take cover into your house because there, there's still two suspects who may be armed. Those two male suspects allegedly pulled a gun trying to steal someone's car in Mokulaia Thursday morning. When the owner confronted him, one of the, the driver of the stolen vehicle brandished the handgun. The suspects didn't take that car. Instead, they fled in a stolen Nissan Altima and headed to Waipahu. They ditched the Altima and fled through a residential neighborhood. Uh, the cops stopped me and told me I was on lockdown, and I told them I was just going to pick up my daughter and say, oh, no, there's still one more suspect on the loose, and he might be armed. We actually caught one in the dead end behind the house, and then there's another one up the street. While those suspects were on the loose less than a half a mile away, Waipahu High School was on lockdown for a different reason. All we hear is the announcement saying that there was an active shooter on and there was a lockdown. There was no active shooter, but an announcement over the loudspeaker said there was. So quickly we all closed the doors. It's pretty like, um, pretty scared. Multiple students tell KITV4 they huddled together for about 15 to 20 minutes before the school announced it was a false alarm. Many students were dismissed from school and relieved. Just talk about it with my parents. Just tell them that I'm safe. Down the road, Roger Pagata Jr. was relieved and grateful for the police arresting armed suspects so close to home. It was great to like see my daughter smiling, smiling and running up to me. Daddy, I see police officers. So I was just happy to like at least hold her and carry her. TJ Horgan, KITV4 Island News. Yeah, definitely a scary situation. In August, Aarons Elementary School was also put on lockdown today. The State Department of Education issuing a statement reading in part, quote, what happened at Waipahu High School today is unfortunate and we apologize for the panic and stress it caused the school community. The department's leadership as well as its safety and security teams will work closely with Waipahu High School and the rest of our schools to reevaluate our systems and retrain our staff to ensure that this will not happen again. A man wanted in connection to a police-involved shooting in Pearl City is arrested. 23-year-old Troy Salas now faces possible attempted murder charges. According to HPD, when police tried to pull him over, Salas drove towards an officer, nearly hitting him. The officer then fired his gun at Salas's car, which police later found near Pearl Ridge Center. Salas was located and arrested last night. KITV4 also found out that the suspect has been cited for at least 46 traffic violations within the last three years. He he has yet to be charged for this incident. Well, new tonight, a judge sentenced Jeremy Lee to 10 years in prison for a deadly hit and run in Mokula'ia last year. Lee pleaded guilty in June to negligent homicide. Prosecutors say Lee was speeding on Farrington Highway when he veered off the road, hitting and killing 76-year-old Eugene Chin. Lee did not stop to render aid. Left Gene to die on the side of the road. You know, stand up there and say, I'm sorry. You know, show some remorse. And he didn't. But I don't have any hope that in 10 years he's going to come out any better than he went in. For the court imposes. Now, sentence. a judge could have imposed a harsher punishment for Lee called Kaulana's Law, named after a teen who was struck and killed uh, in front of his home in Nanakuli. It would have doubled the t amount of time Lee spends behind bars, but the judge ruled against that. Well, businesses on Oahu will have until the end of the month to switch over from using heavy plastic or non-compostable bags. You've heard a lot about that one. That's right. It's part of the plastic bag ban banned by the Honolulu City Council in 2015, which gave businesses several years to make the switch. KITV4's Eddie Dowd is outside Safeway on Baratania Street with the change consumers are now seeing. Eddie. Mika, Tom, a month ago, this is what shoppers here at Safeway could purchase, a plastic reusable bag. Now, this is what it's been replaced with, a paper bag, and you're going to see a lot more of them around town. 
Ensign Anoy is the owner of Destiny Forever, a jewelry shop in Kaka'ako. He's not worried about the January 1st deadline because his business already made the change two years ago. I believe it's for the better. I mean, we gotta learn to, you know, live with the small inconvenience and, and work with the change. Grocery chain Foodland went plastic free at all of its stores on Oahu in 2015 when the bill was first passed. But other stores like Safeway have only recently made the switch. Retail Merchants of Hawaii says some of its members have waited until they got rid of all their plastic bag inventory, but also wanted to put off the costs they say comes when switching to biodegradable materials. What happens is businesses are passing the cost on to the customer. So inevitably, I mean, things are going to get more expensive and then the cost of living here in Hawaii goes up as well. Some shoppers say they have been bringing their own bags ever since the law passed. They believe a change is needed. Well, I think we can all do a little bit to reduce the amount of plastic that we use. It's just, it's overwhelming. We've got to save the planet. There's too many plastic bags, even paper bags, but, you know, paper at least could be recycled. The city says it will be out searching businesses on January 1st to see if they are in compliance with the plastic ban. Now, the find will be anywhere from $100 to $1,000 per day of violation. But for those of you who have reusable bags, you can still bring those to fill up your groceries. Reporting live, Eddie Dowd, KITV4 Island News. All right, thanks, Eddie. And new at 6, the Bishop Museum already on board with that. They're going plastic-free. The entire Kalihi campus, including the on-site cafe, has eliminated single-use plastics. They've also installed water bottle filling stations, all part of their effort to be more sustainable. The museum is now working towards incorporating a waste-free lunch curriculum for schools looking to hold field trips there. You know, I always, I always forget, so now I just I stash a bunch of those reusable ones in my trunk, because yeah. otherwise I'm going to forget when I go to the grocery Smart. store. Yeah. yeah, instead of having to pay. Yep. Well, UH is pairing up with a university in Africa to help improve how the world responds to infectious diseases. Yeah, coming up on KTV 4 Island News, how researchers from right here in Hawaii will be leading the way when it comes to avoiding deadly outbreaks. And also coming up on KTV 4 Island News, a first look at new housing in Honolulu for chronically homeless kupuna. We'll be right back. Tuesday, wake up with Andy Grammer live. The GMA Concert, Andy Grammer, Tuesday, only on Good Morning America, presented by CarMax. Seriously? No surprises? Well, it's free checking, and they pay back for ATM fees, which is pretty special. That's surprising. Yeah, but it's not a surprise. Good. I think surprises! Hey, sis. Oh, my God! <laughs> You know I hate surprises. Free checking account options that pay you back. Just one of the perks of membership. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Did you know that HECO's rates are continuing to go up? Did you know that federal tax credit for solar is going down soon? Did you know that Ponchos can build you an outback off-the-grid system with average savings between $100 to $400? Larger systems are available. Did you know that Ponchos can build you a customized battery system for your home that can fit your needs and your budget? Did you know that you can start small and expand? Now you know. Poncho Solar. Locally owned and trusted statewide. Powder Foundation has a velvety matte flawless finish with a wide range of shades from light to dark for any skin type. Ultra Powder Foundation, your best foundation forever. Merle Norman. Visit your nearest Merle Norman Cosmetic Studio for your personalized service. At Cracker Barrel, we're cooking up warm feelings of home this season with country fried turkey, hand breaded, fried till crispy, and topped with holiday herbed gravy. Our take on a festive favorite is back, and it's only at Cracker Barrel. So come on home for the holidays. Come on home to Cracker Barrel. You're watching KITV4 Island News.
Welcome back. Time now 612. New at 6 tonight, the University of Hawaii is working towards improving the world's response to any possible future deadly uh, outbreaks of infectious diseases. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention awarded UH a $2.5 million cooperative agreement with the University of Liberia. Now the two institutions will collect blood samples across the country to create a disease surveillance system and database. The goal, to learn how survivors fought the 2014 deadly Ebola virus outbreak and to find out what other viruses may be circulating in Africa and hopefully use that data on future diseases. Good to see Hawaii leading the way there with yeah, the research. Yeah, definitely. And Google today released its top health questions for 2019. And topping that list, blood pressure. People Googled how to lower blood pressure and number two, what is keto? And to answer that, it's a high fat, moderate protein, very low carb diet. Number three, how to get rid of hiccups. <laughs> and one day, hold your breath and swallow three times. Always a good trick. <laughs> I don't know if we'll ever have an answer to that one. That, that one always gets me. All right, well, the city today unveiled its new senior housing complex in the Makali Mo'ili Ili area. It's called Kumuvai Residences. It features 30 studio units for poor or chronically homeless kupuna or those at risk of becoming homeless. Each of the units there comes with its own kitchen and bathroom. Caldwell talks about why the building was named Kumuvai. Which means source of water. It was named by Mr. Kalei, our director of Mayor's Office of Culture and the Arts. And we all know how healing water can be. And we know what it means to the native Hawaiians. And it's appropriate to name this place that name. Now the city bought the land and the building for $6.4 million and they spent an additional $4.8 million to turn it into housing. Looks really nice there. Yeah, it does look really nice. Yeah. All right. Well, two medical facilities on Oahu fell victim to a cybersecurity breach. Coming up on KITV4 Island News, how a ransomware attack temporarily halted cancer radiation services. And we've been talking a lot about this one. Huge surf today on the north and west shores. Oh yeah, and we have some clouds and some scattered rains on the way, Pete. Yeah, front could bring some changes for your Aloha Friday. We're expecting cloudier weather and the potential for some wet weather for some of us. In fact, we've already got some rain on the radar. We'll take a look at that coming up. We'll take you out though first to our Windward Mall cam. This is from Kaneohe. You can see some low level clouds there. And yes, a few rains on the way. But first, after the break, we're taking it into the North Shore, looking at some of those big waves from earlier today. KITV4 Island News, sponsored by Hawaii Honda Dealers. Yes. Honda Days is on now. Unwrap the joy of a new pilot from the 2019 KBB.com Best Overall Brand. That's all right. Holiday shopping just got easier with the one gift that always fits. Never the wrong color, never out of style. Give handed goodness with our classic cookies or our exclusive holiday flavors. Perfect for family friends, or work. Welcome to the You Mailed It gift. Give Aloha from Honolulu Cookie Company. Aloha and welcome aboard. With Hawaiian Airlines, you feel at home on every flight. We treat you like family, so of course, we serve you a complimentary meal. We seat you together and make sure you're comfortable. The spirit of Hawaii is in everything we do. Hawaii flies with us. We are proud to celebrate 90 years of serving the islands. Medicaid 08 is a Hawaii-based family-owned CBD store that specializes in pain relief, anxiety relief, and mood elevation. We offer a wide range of products from oils, capsules, topicals, edibles, flour, and pet treats. I was in excruciating pain. Within a few minutes, I was able to feel the difference. Nothing compares to the quality of product I receive at Medicaid 08. If your pain doesn't go away in 20 minutes, you'll get your money back. Visit us today at one of our three locations, including our new storefront by Macy's at Pearl Ridge Center. Go on! Think of the pineapple! Yeah, go on, Joey! How about we, you know, build something that stays on top of the water to get there and to get back? We could all go! No! Okay, you can do it. Joey, Joey, Joey. 
Ah, oh, Joey. Eventually, somebody realizes there's a better way to do things, like a new kind of mobile service with the fastest overall speeds. It's a better way to mobile. It's Spectrum Mobile. Use the Spectrum TV app and watch live TV anywhere around Hawaii, even on-demand titles. Spectrum. Some more high surf video taken this morning off of Oahu's North Shore at Sunset Beach. Waves so big they washed up on the sidewalk there, pushing in the sand on Kamehameha Highway at Waimea Bay. Surfers were out at dawn to brave those large waves. Among them, surfing legend Clyde Aikau, who said while the waves were huge, they weren't big enough for the Eddie Aikau big wave invitational for that waves need to be consistently 20 feet hawaiian square scale which is roughly about 40 feet face scale we're gonna catch couple for eddie for sure it's an honor to paddle out with clyde and yeah. this place has such special meaning here it really is uh gets emotional too of course, the Big Wave Invitational, named after Eddie Akal, the Big Wave surfer and lifeguard who was lost at sea after voyaging canoe Hokulea capsized off Molokai. By the way, Clyde Akal, 70 years old and stole riding those monstrous waves. I actually got to interview him three years ago after the Eddie, and it takes a toll on you, certainly, those huge waves rolling on in. Great conditions out there. They're coming down, though. Conditions not quite as ideal tonight as trade winds are building back in, but waves still pretty big. 20 to 28 footers for the North Shore, 14 to 20 for the West Shores. High surf warnings in effect until daybreak. Kona Coast at 5 to 8, you have a high surf advisory there. Surf down tomorrow, still very big, still very dangerous. 16 to 22 footers for the North Shore, 12 to 16 for the West Shore. We have another big high tide at 501. As we mentioned, we had some run up for the water on Sunset there, Sunset Beach area, Kamehameha Highway. That is possible again just before daybreak, even though waves are coming down. Still a pretty big high tide. East Shore is at 36, 1 to 2 for South. So still some big waves. Biggest waves will be in the morning hours. High surf warning expires at 6 a.m. We'll likely have a high surf advisory after that. Let's take a look at some of the rainfall that we have developing right now across Oahu on the west side. We've got some scattered showers that are going to be pushing offshore. We'll continue to watch a few light showers here in the windward sections, but you can see offshore a few windward rains on the way, so we'll have some scattered showers tonight, especially in the windward spots. Kauai, scattered rain right now. Lihue seeing some rainfall into Maui County. Not as much, and then for the Big Island, relatively dry so far, but some rain on the way offshore. So give it about another two hours, and we'll likely two to three hours, we'll have some of this move towards Hilo and into Puna. This is all from a frontal boundary to our west. It's getting closer. It's bringing extra moisture and the potential for some hit and miss scattered showers overnight into our upcoming Aloha Friday. That moisture moves over the rest of the islands, expecting cloudy skies and some hit and miss scattered rain. So not a washout. If you have plans, I wouldn't cancel them. I would just have a backup plan because we at times we'll have some scattered rains possible tomorrow as we head through our Friday and possibly even early on Saturday as well. Trade winds, though, starting to build back in. 83 for Hilo. Kona coming in at 85 degrees. We'll look at Maui County coming in with northeast trade winds at 10 to 20. Cloudy conditions. Temperatures in the low to mid 80s here on Oahu. Cloudy skies and some hit and miss scattered showers possible. Better chance of rain for Kauai. You're closer to the front. You'll have scattered showers throughout the day and plenty of cloud cover out there. For tonight, not as cool as the past few nights. Humidity on the way up. Temperatures not quite as low, 72. The expected low temperature will get up to 84 for tomorrow. A cloudy one, not much sunshine for your Friday. Into early Saturday, we'll still have some of those clouds around. Could have a lingering shower, but things start to clear out late Saturday. And Sunday looks sunny with trade winds back. Highs in the middle 80s. He said the surf dying down, but I mean, it was it was pretty wild today. That was crazy to hear uh, Clyde say the uh, wildest he's seen in 30 years. Yeah, I said some of the best conditions. We had light winds. It really made for great conditions out there. Those winds have kind of picked up, so a little bit less uh, ideal as we head through yeah, the night. All, all a great uh, recipe for the pros. we got sports next with Brandy Higa. And we were looking at that video from Jaws earlier. Pretty incredible stuff. That's right. I have more of that epic surf from Pe'ahi after the break, plus an incredible job opportunity for a former baseball player out of Hilo. And it's the eve of the NCAA. LA regionals for the UH women's volleyball team, KITV4 Island Sports is next.
American bakers in a faraway land. With hopes, Paul Hollywood would soon shake their hand. The action, the drama, cakes, <laughs> breadsticks, and pie. All bets are off when the stakes are this high. Don't miss the Great American Baking Show tonight at 9 on ABC. This segment of KITV4 Island News is sponsored by Hawaiian Host. There's a special moment when everything falls into place just so. That's the feeling you experience with each piece of Hawaiian Host original chocolate-covered macadamias. This holiday season, share that perfect moment with your loved ones and Hawaiian Host. diagnosed with any type of lung cancer or mesothelioma caused by asbestos exposure in the workplace is a devastating thing. That's where the Hawaii Personal Injury Law Firm of Gallagher, De Robertis and Waxman can help. Call for more information and a free case review. Listen to these real Haleakala customers. We went solar in 2015 because uh, we were really excited about the possibility of saving money on electricity. Our electric bills at that time were anywhere from $160 to $250 a month. We had fans blowing through the whole house, and this part of Maui where we live is extremely dusty. So the windows are open, the fans are blowing, and our electric bill is out of sight. The company locally takes a real interest, I think, in their people and their customers. And I thought that was something that really surprised me. And I was pleasantly surprised to find that the installers were here early. They did an excellent job, cleaned up afterwards. Now with Haleakala Solar, we run our air conditioning 24-7. All the windows are uh, sealed and closed, the house is insulated, uh, and so it's just, it's a dream come true. My name is Cecilia Chang, and I'm a happy, happy customer of Haleakala Solar. My name is Jeff King, and I'm an extremely satisfied Haleakala Solar customer. 808-468-6576, 808-468-6576. In 1859, King Kamehameha IV and Queen Emma were inspired to build a hospital for the sick. Today, Queens has expanded to meet the growing needs of Hawaii, offering comprehensive heart care, advanced neurological services, a world-renowned cancer center, and Hawaii's only level one trauma center. Caring for our community, the royal legacy continues. The Queens Medical Center, celebrating 160 years. Less than 24 hours till game day for the U.S. women's volleyball team. Good evening, I'm Brandi Higa. Rainbow Wahine Open NCAA regional play tomorrow in Madison, Wisconsin, where they'll face last year's runner-up in Nebraska. Now, this is the farthest Hawaii's come under third-year head coach Robin Amo. And while her young team is still improving, that's not the only learning that's going on. Yes, she even said after we won the game, she even said that she's learning and um, for her as a coach, like she has so many accolades. So she's an Olympian, her and coach Ange, for her to say that she is learning as well, it shows how humble she is. She was awesome in the beginning of the season, but she even gets better as the way she um, as the way she knows each and every one of us how to talk to us. She gets better in that way. 18th ranked Rainbow Wahine versus number six Nebraska is set for 11.30 tomorrow morning Hawaii time. The match will be streamed live on ESPN3. So what is ESPN3? Ask the callers and emailers to KITV. Here's the quickest way to get to tomorrow's match. Head to hawaiiathletics.com. This will take you to their homepage. If you scroll down about midway, you'll see something that looks like a calendar. Notice the 13th for volleyball tomorrow. There are a bunch of icons on the bottom of that event. By clicking on the one that looks like a video recorder, you should be directed straight to the Hawaii match. We'll also have highlights for you tomorrow, right here during KITV for Island Sports. And the men's basketball team is in action this weekend as well. Rainbow Warriors take on Samford on Sunday, part of a doubleheader with the women's team. And besides trying to tame the Bulldogs, it's a delicate balance this week when it comes to being a UH student athlete. Today was the final day of instruction for the fall semester, and that means next week it's time for final exams. It's very hard because you got to do both. You know, you got to lock in and practice, which is hard, and you also got to lock in on your final. So it's definitely, it's definitely a challenge. This is my first time going through it, so I can't really tell you how it's going to be. So, I mean, I know it's going to be a struggle because I know my teammates have told me, but I'm just looking forward to it. Hawaii and Samford in Manoa set for 3.30 this Sunday right after the women's game against Hope International set for 1 p.m.
And in baseball, yes, I'm talking about baseball in December. KITV is your home for Giants baseball. And of course, our Giants baseball watch parties. And this week, new San Francisco manager Gabe Kapler is continuing to assemble his coaching staff. Officially announced this week, Waiakea grad Kainoa Correa will be bench coach for the Giants. Correa spent the past few seasons with the Cleveland Indians. And at just 31 years old, he's not just the youngest from Hawaii to make it this far up the MLB coaching totem pole. He's one of the youngest, period. Is there anyone that you kind of look up to, someone that was a role model to you growing up? Yeah, yeah, and so I picked up a ton of stuff along the way, but I mean, the easy answer there is my grandfather. So Jimmy Correa, he was a high school baseball coach in Hilo for um, over 60 years uh, um, until his passing, and, and that's kind of, he was my after-school care. And so I, going to practice and sitting on the bucket and, and, and watching him do his thing, and then, and then my dad and my uncles, uncles and my, my cousins after him, I was kind of the family business. And so those guys, they definitely laid the foundation for my passion, for my experience in the game. And then there's been a lot of coaches along the way, both in college and professional baseball, that have helped me as well. But easy answer is grandpa. What do you think your grandpa would say to you now, looking down at how far you've come? Yeah, I know that's crazy. Um, you know, that, I, I really wish he was here, but I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that he's he's watching. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd help, like to think he's uh, he's proud, but more than anything else, as funny as it is, uh, if he was here, he'd be second guessing me. So, uh, regardless of what level or or what league somebody in the family will coach at, I'm sure he'd have a thought about something we could do better or an adjustment that he probably would have made sooner. And so, I'll smile thinking about that in the game this season, thinking about what he'd say to me if I do something dumb. And Kainoa will be coming home this month. He'll be running camps in Honolulu and Hilo for various age groups. For more information, including how to sign up, just head to the sports section of our website, KITV.com. And as we mentioned at the top of the hour, this year's JAWS Big Wave Championship was called on today. Look at this video. 24 of the world's elite men and the top 10 women in the sport hit the water off Maui. Waves at Piaahi reached up to 50 feet. Maui's own Billy Kemper put together a 21.26 combined score. And Kemper, the defending champ at Piaahi, did it again this year. Can I shake your hand, Billy Kemper, four-time champion of the Jaws Challenge? How do you feel? I feel so amazing right now. I'm over the moon. I felt like I had such a rough dogfight all the way leading up to the final, and I every morning I wake up early and I work hard, and these are every sacrifice I've taken away from time away from my wife and my children. It's all for this right here. And Kahea, if you're watching it, I love you, bro. Thank you. This is ours. And this was the fourth overall win at Jaws for Kemper in the women's contest. Paige Alms, the 2017 event champ, took home this year's title. Got a 6-1-7 on this wave. Check it out. Was nearly able to escape the whitewash. Nearly. What a dangerous, scary occupation. Oh my yeah, you know, it's, it, 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 they make it look easy when they make it through, but with the wipeouts when you're at that level. Right, I mean, you can just, pull just, your yeah. stomach out of your throat <laughs> now. <laughs> I can't it's even imagine the adrenaline. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my Good goodness. for them, though. Congratulations. Thanks, all Brandy. Right. Now, from Honolulu, for all of Hawaii, this is KITV4 Island News. Honolulu police arrested four people in connection with a carjacking case today. If you're just joining us, here's our top four stories on our KITV4 Island News at 6 tonight. It all stemmed from Mokolaia to Waipahu. That manhunt forced two schools in the area to go on lockdown. Police eventually arrested two men for robbery and two women for unauthorized entry into a vehicle. 23-year-old Troy Salas, the man suspected of driving toward a Honolulu police officer in Pearl City yesterday, is behind bars tonight. That officer discharged his weapon during the incident. Salas received more than 40 traffic violations within the last three years. He has not yet been charged in connection with yesterday's incident. A judge today sentenced Jeremy Lee to 10 years in prison for a deadly hit-and-run crash in Mokolaia last year. Prosecutors say Lee was speeding down Farrington Highway when he struck and killed 76-year-old Eugene Chin. Lee did not stop to render aid. Starting January 1st, the city and county of Honolulu will start enforcing a plastic bag ban passed in 2015. It requires businesses to switch away from using heavy plastic or non-compostable bags. Many like Safeway and Foodland have opted for paper bags. Fines range from $100 to $1,000 per day. 
Well, new tonight, a heads up, a warning from the Maui Police Department of a new phone scam. That's right, MPD says someone is using actual officers' names to call and message people claiming that they're wanted for a contempt of court for a federal summons. The scammer instructs the person to go to Target to buy Google Play cards. MPD is warning the public it does not do that, nor does it ask for any financial information. Anyone who may have received this type of call can report it to MPD at 244-6400. New at 6, the Cancer Center of Hawaii on Oahu fell victim to a ransomware attack. The center told KITV4 hackers infected computer systems at two of its medical facilities at Polymomi and St. Francis yesterday. That forced the center to temporarily have to suspend cancer radiation services because the clinicians couldn't access the computers. Last month, the center reported somebody tried to access data on their computers. It reported that incident to the FBI. On the Big Island, a female is dead after the car she was driving crashed head-on into a truck on Highway 11 yesterday. Big Island police say the female crossed the center line near Mountain View and died at the scene. Police believe she was speeding. The driver of the truck was not injured, and this is the 24th traffic fatality on the Big Island compared to 29 at the same time last year. Back over to the Valley Isle, new from Maui County, enforcement begins on December 27th for new rules related to illegal vacation rentals. Now those caught operating sh short-term rentals without a permit, you could be fined at $20,000 plus $10,000 a day after that. The previous penalty was just $1,000 plus another thousand for each day after. Honolulu Board of Water Supply crews are working on two water main breaks in the Laliha and Nu'uanu areas. About 18 homes are without water service after an 8-inch water main broke on Dowsett Avenue around 345 this morning. Dowsett is located, is closed between Alika Avenue and Lopeka Place. And about seven homes without a wa water service after a 12-inch water main broke there on Liliha Street around 845 last night. Liliha Street is closed between Judd Street and Liliha Place. A water wagon has been dispatched out there to provide water to any affected customers. Well, a marathon debate on Capitol Hill before the first official vote on whether to impeach President Donald Trump. The House Judiciary Committee today discussed two articles brought against the president, abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. Right now, House Republicans united against impeachment, while Democrats argue the president abused his office to gain an advantage in the 2020 election and say he'll do it again. We have an ongoing crime. We have a crime in progress. We have an emergency to our national election going on right now. It's not just an attack on the presidency. It's an attack on us. It's an attack on those of us who believe in this president. Mr. Collins votes no. The Judiciary Committee is expected to vote tomorrow. It's the last legislative hurdle before the full House votes. And all that buzz over impeachment in Washington is making its way back home to Hawaii as thousands of people have called our local members of Congress to weigh in. But despite our status as a blue state, some local Democrats say our members of Congress haven't reflected that. As the impeachment process closes in on a full House vote, many Democrats have already committed to impeaching President Donald Trump, but not in Hawaii. Congressman Ed Case says he still needs to review the articles and says, I'm not there yet. This is the most important decision, single decision that I'm ever going to make um, as a uh, elected official. And my duty is to make that decision as fully and deliberatively as I possibly can. But some Democrats back home are wondering what he's waiting for. They're like, what is he doing? Why is he not taking a stronger stance against what we've already seen come out of the uh, White House? Along with Tulsi Gabbard, who's also shown some hesitation, Michael Goliou with the Hawaii Democrats LGBT caucus says he wants to see someone challenge case from the left in 2020. Given their choices between a uh, blue dog Democrat and somebody who's actually a solid Democrat would be a, a welcome change. But while Hawaii is one of the bluest states, Republicans in the state are standing by the president, becoming one of the first states to officially cancel their Republican presidential preference vote, awarding all the GOP delegates to Trump. I think Case recognizes that he represents a diverse district. It is not completely blue. There is some red, pockets of purple here and there, and he recognizes that they have votes and that it is his job to represent them in Congress. And meanwhile, the Democratic National Committee today announced four Democratic presidential debates for 2020, January 14th in Iowa, February 7th in New Hampshire, February 19th in Las Vegas, and February 25th in South Carolina. ABC News will be hosting the February 7th debate, which will be shown right here on KITV4.
Well, Southwest has reached a deal with Boeing. Coming up after the break, just how much money airline customers will be compensated for the months-long grounding of that 737 MAX. Be right back. KITV4 Island News, sponsored by Hawaii Honda Dealers. Honda Days is on now. Unwrap the joy of a new Civic sedan, the best-selling car in its class. That's all right. Aloha and welcome aboard. With Hawaiian Airlines, you feel at home on every flight. We treat you like family, so of course, we serve you a complimentary meal. We seat you together and make sure you're comfortable. The spirit of Hawaii is in everything we do. Hawaii flies with us. We are proud to celebrate 90 years of serving the islands. Did you know that HECO's rates are continuing to go up? Did you know that federal tax credit for solar is going down soon? Did you know that Ponchos can build you an outback off-the-grid system with average savings between $100 to $400? Larger systems are available. Did you know that Ponchos can build you a customized battery system for your home that can fit your needs and your budget? Did you know that you can start small and expand? Now you know. Poncho Solar, locally owned and trusted statewide. At Cracker Barrel, we're cooking up warm feelings of home this season with country fried turkey, hand breaded, fried till crispy, and topped with holiday herbed gravy. Our take on a festive favorite is back, and it's only at Cracker Barrel. So come on home for the holidays. Come on home to Cracker Barrel. Try a $2 medium latte, cappuccino, or Americano from 2 to 6 p.m. The holidays run on Dunkin'. Aloha, I'm Paula Akana. Join KITV4 Island News as we celebrate some very special wahine in Hawaii's remarkable women. From fighting for equality to excelling in careers that were once unheard of for women, they've all left their mark on our island communities and for some, the world. Each month, we'll share a different story of their sacrifices and achievements. Hawaii's remarkable women, only on KITV4 Island News at 6. KITV4 honors remarkable women, brought to you by Slumber World. You're watching KITV4 Island News. The U.S. Department of Defense today tested a new intermediate range ballistic missile from California today. It dropped into the Pacific Ocean. Now, this comes after the U.S. left the Intermediate Nuclear Forces Treaty, which restricted the use of this kind of missile. The test is meant to develop a missile that could be deployed in the Asia Pacific region and potentially target China. That, though, would need to be authorized by Congress. Top House lawmakers today reached a deal on a $1.4 trillion government spending bill. The bill, which would avert a federal shutdown next weekend, is expected to pass the Senate. The bill sets aside more funds for the U.S.-Mexico border wall. It also gives Democrats a number of their priorities. Full House and Senate votes are expected next week. A 17-month trade war between the U.S. and China could be coming to an end. Yeah, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce says a deal is close. The trade agreement would suspend the president's plan to impose tariffs on $160 billion in Chinese imports starting on Sunday. In return, China would buy more U.S. farm products, increase American companies' access to the Chinese market, and tighten up protection for intellectual property rights. The White House expects to announce that agreement tomorrow. Southwest Airlines has reached a deal with Boeing over lost revenue from the grounding of the 737 MAX planes. And the airline is sharing that $125 million deal with its employees. Southwest in March grounded 34 of the 737 MAX planes nationwide after two deadly crashes in Indonesia and Ethiopia. Well, Boeing says its Starliner crew capsule will hold its first ever test flight on December 20th. It'll head to the International Space Station with a mannequin named Rosie on board. A second test flight is expected ne next year. That one will have three actual astronauts on board. 
Well, check out the first battery-powered fire truck in the entire world. It was just debuted today in Silicon Valley, California. The all-electric engine means less maintenance and no need for diesel, which keeps firefighters away from cancer-causing fumes. When I came to the fire service, I, I was told the fire service has 200 years of tradition only impeded by progress. Well, we're throwing that out. It's the future, and you know, unless people embrace it, they're going to be left behind. Pretty cool stuff, and to avoid the issue of running out of battery, the new fire engine is equipped with a dual battery system. If the department gets approval from the fire board, the new truck could be deployed by 2022. It's cool. It's almost, almost yeah. like a spaceship or something. Like you really? said, yeah. it's the future. Definitely. Well, new at 6 o'clock, the state is looking for companies to expand the electric vehicle sector in the islands. The state uh, transportation department offering a 10-year service contract to uh, electrify government fleet vehicles and build EV charging stations. It's all part of the state's goal to operate on 100% clean energy by the year 2045. Proposals have to be submitted by January 14th. New tonight, the city unveiled a new electric bus today. The Gillig Battery Electric Zero Emissions Bus would be quieter than current buses. The city has also received a $1.5 million grant to purchase three of these buses. One of our longtime employees, and I'll name him, where's Kalani Lum? He's around here. I think he says he's driven for 26 years, and this is the best bus he's ever driven in his life. And that is a bold statement. The city hopes to transition to 100% renewable ground transportation by 2035 and all city vehicles by 2045. All right, well, speaking of uh, getting around, Lyft rolling out a new car rental service. Coming up on KITV4 Island News, we'll tell you how it works and where rentals will soon be available for customers. We'll be right back. Holiday shopping just got easier with the one gift that always fits. Never the wrong color, never out of style. Give handed goodness with our classic cookies or our exclusive holiday flavors. Perfect for family, friends, or work. Welcome to the You Nailed It gift. Give Aloha from Honolulu Cookie Company. In Solid has been in business in Hawaii for 20 years. It specializes in fabricating solid surfaces, especially showers, ideal for bathrooms that can change as we age. In Solid has custom models for exact fits for any space. In Solid products are non-porous and seamless. This means no grout and no place for mold or mildew to grow. Contact us today for a free estimate at 808-676-5522. 808-676-5522. We know it takes money to go to college. Most people think a huge amount of money, but it can cost a lot less than you think. Did you know tuition at a four-year UH campus can start at under $8,000 a year? And tuition for a community college is only about $3,500 a year. Plus in Hawaii, over $70 million in scholarships and grants are awarded to help students go to college. So maybe you should invest in yourself. Go to college is within reach Hawaii.com. the gifts for under the tree and while you're at it bring the tree Ford F-150 built for the holidays it was the night of the bake-off oh, oh, oh. and the competition was steep I don't like that they were all chasing victory oh. but fearing defeat so you're gonna toast your nuts <sighs> American bakers in a faraway land. Welcome to England. With hopes Paul Hollywood would soon shake their hand. The action, the drama, cakes, breadsticks and pie. Bake my lovely. All bets are off when the stakes are this high. If you like the British Baking Show from across the sea, don't miss the Great American Baking Show. Tonight at 9 on ABC. You're watching KITV4 Island News. Welcome back. Another Ring video camera apparently hacked. Yeah, this time it was in Florida. CNN's Christina Mendez has that video. People play and people are good will. Can I use the rest of my needle? It's Sunday night. Fire. Cooking and, and catching up with their oldest year, son through FaceTime was on this Cape Coral couple's agenda. And all of a 
sudden um, we heard the siren. Until the safety measure was turned against them, someone was using it to peer into the Browns' private life. What's going on, my main man, Shaq? It's your boy, Chance on Nold. Welcome to the Nold cast. What's going the on? The hacker starts talking doing? directly to the husband and wife about their son. Wait, wait, so did your child come out black or like kind of like light skin? I don't know. What? Nothing. Who never appears on this three minute recording. But Josephine Brown believes the person manipulating their camera was watching for longer than he made known. But they, they've been watching us. Because my that's the only way you know I had a son and the only way you know what he looks like. The hacker focuses only on making racial comments. Is your kid a baboon, like the monkey? Spewing from their security camera over and over again. Wait, does your child look like an Oreo? It's very hurtful because, I mean, my son is biracial and the comments he made was really hurtful. Fed up with the hateful invasion of privacy. Can you bring like a web browser up on your phone and then type in the website that I tell you? No. Why? I'll leave you and your family alone. Or I could do this. I like your dog. The camera batteries are ripped out. Hey. Go to no the Browns called Ring immediately. The company did not respond to my requests, but did tell the family, quote, the email address and password of one of your external accounts was exposed in a data breach. Ring believes someone used that information to gain access into their account. Josephine says she is constantly changing the Wi-Fi password and believes the company needs to step up. Fixing it, put more security stuff on there, do more updates on the cameras, making sure everything, you know, runs the way it's supposed to but I don't I don't know I went to a tech expert Michelle Bordoff says there's one trusted way to keep your system safe wired cannot be hacked somebody has to be in your home hardwired to your modem to see anything on your network Josephine's experiences leaving her in the dark about the products she trusted I was scared I was scared I didn't know who that is how long he been watching us yeah, I was, and I'm still scared now because I don't have an answer. What a nightmare. Yeah, that's, ho that's horrifying. Something yeah. you buy to help with security and then it just becomes a complete uh, invasion of privacy and, there. And apparently it's not the first time. We've seen other parts of the country too. Mm -hmm. so. And again, that was CNN's Christina Mendez reporting and Ring says it is investigating. And the company added the incident is not related to a breach of uh, or compromise of its security. Definitely want to watch out for that mm -hmm. though. Well, rideshare company Lyft is adding car rental service. Prices vary depending on day and time, up to $149 per day on the weekends. Service will first get rolled out in Los Angeles and San Francisco, cities where Lyft has been testing over the past few months. Well, this is pretty interesting. The city of Oakland in California looking at a unique way to deal with its homeless crisis. CNN's Eric Thomas shows us the idea that's being floated around. And maybe we can have a way to create a thousand housing units overnight with a cruise ship. Oakland City Council President Rebecca Kaplan made an almost offhand remark about using a cruise ship to house some homeless people. But word got back to someone in the industry and an idea was born. Some folks with cruise ships have reached out to me now as a result of this discussion. And so now we're looking at figuring out what it would take to make this a reality. Kaplan says cruise ships have been used to house people in coastal areas who were left homeless by natural disasters like hurricanes. And she believes the three to four thousand homeless people sleeping on the streets of Oakland qualifies as a disaster. If it can be used uh, both by tourists cruising and by other cities as emergency housing, surely our housing emergency is no less. Homeless advocates say Kaplan's heart is in the right place, but the council already passed a measure to use city-owned land for housing, not temporarily, but permanently. I think before they start talking about putting a bunch of homeless folks on a boat in the middle of the bay, they should enforce what's already been passed. And the Port of Oakland, the primary place to dock a ship, isn't crazy about the idea either. They released a statement today that reads in part, quote, there isn't the infrastructure to berth a cruise ship. Safety and security issues at our federally regulated maritime facilities would make residential uses untenable.
a pretty different idea regardless. Definitely interesting idea, especially, you know, especially for us living on an island, you know, something. Yeah. You know, those yeah. will consider that here. Well, there's something new at Royal Hawaiian Center. Shopping Center is adding what it's calling Waikiki Food Hall, a dining concept featuring eight different restaurants under one roof. It includes everything from steaks to burgers, smoothies to desserts, and elevated musubi. The uh, uh, operation is scheduled to start up next spring. I'm hungry already. Yep, looking forward <laughs> to that. Well, coming up on KITV4 Island News at 10 o'clock, less than 6% of Hawaii's population speaks a Hawaiian language. Well, now students at the University of Hawaii are trying to change that by increasing access to language classes, and it's not just for students. Plus, medical students at the University of Hawaii may be done with classes, but they're still hitting the library, not to study, but to help others during the holidays. And when we come back, a last check of your sports and your weather, all those wild waves out there. Yep, you're watching KITV4 Island News. We'll be right back. This segment of KITV4 Island News is sponsored by Hawaiian Host. There's a special moment when everything falls into place just so. That's the feeling you experience with each piece of Hawaiian Host original chocolate-covered macadamias. This holiday season, share that perfect moment with your loved ones and Hawaiian Host. Stop by your neighborhood 7-Eleven Hawaii store this holiday season for one of our delicious party platters, Deluxe Sushi. Game time spam musubi, chicken adobo pancit, sesame chicken salad, sandwich platter, and assorted mochi. Visit or call your neighborhood 7-Eleven Hawaii store to place your order today. This is a fight. Not to the finish, but to the beginning. A fight that can only be won if we stand together for one cause. Expert care for every new beginning. Rent returns in an electrifying 20th anniversary tour. Experience this groundbreaking masterpiece today, December 24th through 29th at the Blaisdell Center. Tickets on sale at broadwayandhawaii.com. Did you know that HECO's rates are continuing to go up? Did you know that federal tax credit for solar is going down soon? Did you know that Ponchos can build you an outback off-the-grid system with average savings between $100 to $400? Larger systems are available. Did you know that Ponchos can build you a customized battery system for your home that can fit your needs and your budget? Did you know that you can start small and expand? Now you know. Poncho Solar, locally owned and trusted statewide. Seriously? No surprises? Well, it's free checking, and they pay it back for ATM fees, which is pretty special. That's surprising. Yeah, but it's not a surprise. Good. I hate surprises! Hey, sis. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> you know I hate surprises. Free checking account options that pay you back. Just one of the perks of membership. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Well, did you see the full moon last night? Beautiful shot. Mauna Kea, that full moon right over. You can catch it again tonight. Looking very impressive. Donna Carey sent this one in. Beautiful shot and some big waves. The, uh, the pipeline called off today, but yesterday we had some large waves for our Wednesday. We'll see if it goes back on tomorrow. And we'll go ahead and take you out to Waimea Bay where it was going off. Gary Mietta sent this one in. Beautiful shot of those huge waves in some spots topping over 30 to 35 feet. And of course, uh, Maui is much bigger than that. 16 to 22 for tomorrow. North Shore, West Shore is 12 to 16. So surf is down, but still big, still high surf advisory level. We have a warning tonight, but an advisory expected for tomorrow for North and West Shore. 36 for East, 1 to 2 for South. Rain starting to pop up. So heads up if you have any outdoor plans. We've got scattered Malka showers. Some of that could ease into town. More scattered rain possible along the windward section. So rain chances are going up as we head into the evening. We'll see that scattered rain again possible with a potential a better chance of a scattered shower for tomorrow plenty of cloud cover highs into the middle 80s brandy thanks pete sports you need to know Maui's billy kemper and Paige alms came out victorious at this year's jaws big wave championship off maui 
the world's premier paddle-only big wave event at Pe'ahi. Saw waves up to 50 feet. This was Kemper's fourth overall title. He won the event last year as well. Alms, the 2017 champ on the Valley Isle, was also last year's winner for the WSL's big wave women's overall performance. And the video this contest delivers every year is truly incredible. No major injuries. That white belt's pretty rough, though. Yeah. No matter how many times you watch that video, I just feel like I cringe every single yeah. time. All right, incredible. Well, sp speaking of uh, wild things in nature, <laughs> what do you guys think? Bald eagle versus octopus. Don't scroll down yet. What do you guys think? Hmm. Uh, I, that's a good question. Who's going to win? Go with the octopus. The eagle. <laughs> octopus, I guess. Well, check it out. In this case, it was the octopus. Hey, yes. Okay. No. Salmon, <laughs> salmon farmers in Canada were headed home when they heard the bald eagle cries. The oh. octopus was gripped around it. The farmers used a pole with a hook to pull the tentacles off of the eagle. It was able to break free and flew off to the shore nearby. They were just playing. Yeah, yeah that, that's just roughhousing a little bit. <laughs> that's not where I thought the story was going. Referee stoppage. Yeah. Yeah. The time. I thought it was going to be the eagle swooping in and snagging the octopus. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Well, thanks for being on Hawaii's part of Hawaii's only hour long 6 p.m. newscast. We'll see you back here at 10. Take care. See you then. Good night. Experience the bold, crispy, mouth-watering flavors Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen is serving up in each and every bite. Providing closed captioning for KITV4 Island News. When it comes to affordable home furnishing, Ross, hands down, has the best deals on the island. Everything you're looking for all in one convenient location. From living room, dining furniture, to bedroom sets, including remanufactured green beds giving you the feel of nationally recognized brands at a fraction of the cost. So much variety of prices, too low to ignore. Ross Appliance and Furniture will save you hundreds, guaranteed. I don't want to spoil the surprise, but could it be? A 2019 Ranger with Ford Copilot 360 technology and lightning blue? I guess only Santa knows for sure. Are you ready for hurricane season? The KITV weather team is meteorologists dedicated to keeping you safe and informed. We get it right and right to you. Last season, KITV4 warned you when major hurricanes threatened, but we were also the first to tell you when that threat diminished. We're here to prepare you with accurate forecast. With the latest technology, including Doppler radar and early warning projections, we keep your safety our top priority. On air, online, and on mobile, stay connected with the KITV4 weather team. Okay, so Dallas headquarters, we've been made. We gotta ditch the car. Yes, let's go. What are we going to do with the car? We can't just ditch it. Well, they did pay it to save the world. Why don't we start by saving a life? Mahalo for your donation to Kidney Cars. We'll pick up the car from any location. Donate a car, save a life. Call Kidney Cars today.